Hey everybody, I'm Ryan, this is The Will To Make, and today I'm going to show you how to install these sunshades over top of our platform deck. So I started off by cutting the bottom out of these pots we bought to slide over the 4x4s. I then took these outside and placed them where we wanted the posts and sprayed some yard marking paint and the cutout. With some post hole diggers, I dug down two feet. Using my tape measure as I went to see how close I was. Once down to two feet, I opened the top of the hole a little more to make pouring the concrete a little easier. To make leveling the post a little easier, I made some bracing. I started with a fence picket and cut it into three strips. Each one of those strips I cut into three pieces. On the pieces that would be hammered into the ground, I cut a point at one end. Then to assemble, I set one piece with the point down, then another piece at an angle at the top and screwed it down. I made six of these for my three posts. I could then grab my 10 foot 4x4 and drop it in the hole. With my wife's help, we leveled the post out by first hammering in the brace, making sure the post was level, then screwing in the brace to the post. Then the same could be done for the other direction of the post using the other bracing. Once you screw one in, and if it's not level, then just hammer the bracing a little at a time until the post is level. Once everything was level, I mixed up a bag of concrete in my wheelbarrow. I slowly added water until I got to a pancake batter-like consistency. The concrete could then be poured into the hole. I used my mixing stick to scrape out the rest that wouldn't flow out of the wheelbarrow. I also used a stick to move the concrete around in the hole to make sure the concrete got all around the post. I did the same for the other two posts and then let them set overnight to cure. The next morning I removed the bracings from the post and filled the top of the hole back in with dirt. I used this tamper tool to compact and level out the dirt. Once it was leveled, I could slide my pots over the post. Next was to install some hooks on the post and on the house where the shade cell will be tied to. Using a drill bit just smaller than the threads on my hooks, I pre-drilled and then installed the hooks. I used another hook here to aid in screwing the hook in. I then did the same on the house, adding two hooks and then one on my middle post. Now I could install the shade sail. I first started by tying a bowline on the D-rings of the shade sail in all four corners, then tied the other end of the rope to my hook. I then went around and tied each corner to each hook. This ended up taking a while to figure out the best length of rope at each hook in order to give us the best look. I then did the same thing for the other sunshade on the other side. Now the shade sails were installed and the last thing to do was add some dirt and flowers to the pots and this project was complete. I love how these shade sails look and how they add so much comfort when sitting on our deck. Without them, it would just be too unbearable to sit and enjoy our backyard. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.